Hi, my name is Adam Brzozowski, here with Craft Music, and thank you for visiting, and I'm here today to talk to you about digital pianos. What is a digital piano? How is it different than a keyboard? And how do you select the right digital piano for you and your family? A digital piano, by definition, would have 88 hammer-weighted keys. They're hammer-weighted, so they're heavier, like a real piano. Oftentimes, a keyboard, something that's referred to as a keyboard or a portable keyboard or a synthesizer, wouldn't necessarily have that heavier, hammer-weighted key action to be a light touch, like a spring-loaded action. For piano performance, for piano lessons, to build strength and dexterity in your fingers, what you want is very specifically that hammer action. An acoustic piano has 88 keys. The digital piano will have 88 keys. They'll have that hammer action. And what you'll find is that most of them not only have a hammer action, but a graded action. They're heavier on the left, and as you play up to the right, they become a little bit lighter. And this is exactly true on a real grand piano as well. Digital pianos are available in a variety of styles, and you're going to see some examples of these right behind me. One of the first questions to ask yourself when shopping for a digital piano is, do you need it to be portable? Are you going to travel with the piano on a weekly basis, maybe to church or to your piano lessons? Or are you looking for a piece of furniture for the home? If you're looking for a piece of furniture for the home, digital pianos are designed and built as a console, like an upright piano. Beautiful cabinetry, built-in speakers, looks like a conventional piano. If you're in a condo or an apartment, or you like the idea of a piece of furniture, but you need to save some space, they're also manufactured as a slimline piano. They don't go as deep, they're quite slim, and they fit in small compact areas quite well. Both styles of piano are gonna have the 88 hammer-weighted keys that you're looking for in a digital piano. And for the most part, the features and the functions are gonna be just the same. We'll talk a little bit more about common features and functions across the board with digital pianos in just a little bit. Furniture style pianos will typically come with their own dedicated matching furniture style stand, the triple pedal unit. Integrated into the body of the instrument is the music rest. On a console piano, there'll also be a hard sliding key cover, it comes over the keys to keep them protected when you're not playing. And on the slimline furniture pianos, that key cover is a folding key cover. And again, the purpose, just to protect your keys when you're not playing. Most of the furniture style digital pianos also include a matching bench. If you'd love to have a furniture style piano in your home, but you'd still like the option to travel with it, you can have both. In one of the hybrid pianos, we refer to them as the contemporary pianos. A contemporary piano can be purchased with the optional dedicated furniture style stand and triple pedal board. Have that set up in your home, it looks great in the living room. When it comes time to travel, you remove the piano from the furniture stand and you take a portable X-frame stand which folds up very nicely and neatly and compact and very easy for travel. Earlier you heard me mention the triple pedal board. What are the triple pedals, do I need them, and do they come with all digital pianos? I'd like to answer all of those questions right now. First of all, what the triple pedals do on a digital piano is exactly what they would do on an acoustic grand piano. As you're sitting at the piano, the pedal all the way on the right is the sustain pedal, and when you step on it, all of the notes are free to ring on and on. What's happening inside of an acoustic piano is you've got your strings over here and a piece of felt for every string, and those are resting on the strings when you're not playing, keeping the piano silent. When you step on that pedal, all of the felts are released and the strings are free to vibrate and sustain all of your notes. The pedal all the way on the left brings the overall volume of the piano down. Now here's my strings again, but this time I'm not talking about the felts. This time I'm talking about the hammers that actually hit the strings and make the sounds. When I step on a soft pedal on an acoustic piano, it takes all those hammers and it brings them closer to the strings so they don't have as far to throw, thus bringing the overall volume of the piano down. The pedal in the middle is called a sustenuto and it allows you to selectively sustain some of the notes. For example, if I play three notes and I'm holding those and then I step on that sustenuto pedal, those three notes will continue to ring on, but I'll be able to play short staccato notes across the rest of the piano. Typically, the furniture style pianos do come with the triple pedal unit. For the pianos that do not come with a triple pedal unit, many of those do come with a single pedal. The single pedal will behave as your sustain pedal, which is the most commonly used pedal on the piano. You may be asking yourself, do I need all three pedals? If you're an experienced piano player, you probably already know the answer to this. If you're not, I can tell you that the pedal on the right, that sustain pedal, you're going to need it, you're going to use it all day, every day, can't live without it. 
That pedal on the left, that soft pedal, brings the overall volume of the piano down just a little bit. You're going to find markings for that in early lesson books. That pedal in the middle, that sostenuto pedal, you're going to find indications for that in advanced classical music. So while you may not need that immediately, we have found that most of our customers prefer the finished look of a digital piano with the triple pedal option. Regardless of brand or style, there are many features that are common across the board with digital pianos. They will have 88 hammer-weighted graded keys that are velocity sensitive. Just like on an acoustic piano, when I strike the keys hard, it's louder. And when I touch them softly, it's quieter. You will also find a built-in metronome to help with your timekeeping on most all digital pianos, a simple song recorder, a variety of other sounds, grand pianos, electric pianos, strings and organs. The ability to connect your digital piano to your home computer. You might want to take piano lessons in the form of software. Maybe you're a composer and you're making music notation. You can do that with software. You can also use recording software. Another common feature you're going to find on these digital pianos is the ability to transpose the instrument. You're playing it in one key, but you're hearing it in another. Uh, how you go about doing this varies from one digital piano to the next, but most all digital pianos do have the ability to transpose. The last feature I'd like to tell you about is the ability to practice in private. Connect your stereo headphones to the digital piano. The speakers will automatically shut off. Sound will only come through your headphones. And this will allow you to practice at any hour of the day or night without disturbing anyone else in the house. This brings me to something else. Not all digital pianos have built-in speakers. What? How do you hear them if they have no built-in speakers? Well, Stage pianos, when you go see a major concert and there's someone playing the keyboards up on stage, those keyboards, those digital pianos, typically don't have speakers built into them. They don't need them. They have big speakers on the stage that they connect those to. So uh, while you are shopping, if you do see something called a stage piano, stage pianos are portable. Uh, they typically don't have furniture stands that go with them. It's a portable piano. It still has the great action and the great sound, but no built-in speakers. The only way to hear a stage piano would be to put on headphones or to plug it into an amplifier, studio monitors, or your home stereo system. While you're shopping for your digital piano, you may have come across a term called polyphony. It looks like polyphony, but we, we pronounce it polyphony, and that means how many notes can you play all at once? On some digital pianos, you'll see a relatively small number, like 32. On other models, you'll see a great big number, like uh, 164. That's how many notes I can play all at once. 164 notes all at once is a lot of notes. Even with my 10 fingers and a sustain pedal, I'm not going to need that many notes. It's overkill. So even a low amount of polyphony isn't a bad thing. Uh, more isn't better. Uh, where you would need lots of polyphony is if you had a synthesizer that allowed you to layer lots of sounds. When I play one note, I'm hearing a piano and a violin and a guitar and a bass and a drum and a tuba. Now for every one note I play, I'm using eight notes of polyphony. That's where you'd use lots of polyphony. For most of our digital pianos, even a relatively small amount of polyphony is really quite a lot. There are many advantages to owning a digital piano. A digital piano will require no tuning. An acoustic piano requires that you have a piano tuner come over once to twice a year. A digital piano cannot go out of tune. It's not possible. A digital piano requires no voicing. An acoustic piano does. And again, this would be a cost to have a professional come over, tune, and voice your acoustic piano. Another advantage to digital piano is you can put it anywhere. It's advised that you place an acoustic piano on an interior wall of your home. That's because acoustic pianos are made of wood and metal. These materials swell and contract with heat, with humidity. These nuances are not relevant with digital pianos. You can put it wherever you'd like. As you're shopping for your digital piano, you may be noticing that despite all the common features across the board with these digital pianos, they are in fact available at a wide variety of prices. Uh, you can spend a few hundred dollars on a piano, you can spend a few thousand dollars on a piano, and everywhere in between. And next I'd like to tell you about what is happening as you move up the line in digital pianos. One of the most important things that changes as you move up the line in digital pianos is the key action. Despite the fact that they all have 88 keys, they're hammer-weighted, they're graded, and they're velocity-sensitive, not all key actions are created equal. Certainly the key action in an entry-level student model is absolutely appropriate for an entry-level student. 
As you move up and up the line, what you're going to find is a faster key return, a heavier key. Uh, in some cases, the keys are no longer made of plastic. They're actually made of wood with a true seesaw mechanism built in, just as it would be on a real grand piano. For a seasoned professional pianist, that very high-end key action would be very important. Uh, so as you develop your skills as a pianist, you will develop a, a, a sense of what you need for a key action to continue to grow. Let's talk about some other things that improve as you move up the line in digital pianos. And I talk to customers each day on the telephone here for Craft Music, and a lot of what I hear is, I'm not looking for bells and whistles. And while there are a couple models on the market that are loaded with bells and whistles, for the most part, that's not what's happening with the digital pianos. As you move up the line, rather than bells and whistles, what's happening is quality is coming up. We already spoke about how the quality of the key action comes up. Well, so does the quality of the piano sound. Not only the internal sound engine producing better piano samples, but also the amplification systems, the speaker systems, making just a bigger, more robust grand piano sound. The last thing I'd like to tell you as you move up the line in digital pianos is that the build quality will improve. Not only that, but there'll be some upgrades cosmetically. Here at Craft Music, we specialize in digital pianos. We have experts on staff that know the instruments inside and out and are ready to answer any questions you may have. Additionally, we have bundles pre-built for your needs, whether it's for your home piano, whether you're traveling to church or to your piano lessons with your portable piano. We've got a discount bundle ready to go that's going to save you time and it's going to save you money. Once again, my name is Adam Brzozowski here with Craft Music. If you have any questions about our digital pianos or any of our products, we certainly hope that you'll give us a call or shoot us an email because we're always happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching.